Well, it's going to be a warm and sunny day across Southern Colorado. We'll make it to 84 today for Colorado Springs. This weekend looks great if you're putting up those decorations as we have 50s and 60s around here. We'll see sunshine both days. Again, a little bit of a wind with us Saturday. Meteorologist Sydney Jackson is standing by. It's going to be really hot. Yeah, that's right. Mark and Danielle. And just to think, around a year ago, we were dealing with snow across oh my Southern gosh. Colorado <laughs> and a cold snap. So I don't know. I feel like people are really divided here on if we want the heat or the cool down. We'll likely see frequent lightning within these storms. So when it comes to our hail or wind threat today, that is going to be pretty low. We have some big changes on the way for us. Look at this. Our highs drop back to the 30s and 40s next week for Colorado Springs. It's looking like we are going to stay mainly dry Tuesday. We're keeping an eye on a system though that could bring some snow to the mountains. We are going to see more smoke in the sky. So if you are sensitive to that, you'll definitely want to limit time outside today as we are going to be dealing with that wildfire smoke from the west. This changes though into Tuesday. We're also cooling down for tomorrow. Our highs will drop back to the 70s and 80s tomorrow, so we get a break from the heat, but we will see shower and storm chances return. This low risk does cover I-25 and out east, but especially east later on today. Some of these storms could be severe with hail, gusty wind, heavy rainfall, so we'll be watching that very closely. What you're seeing here outlined in red. Those are snow squall warnings. We're seeing a couple in the mountains and also around Alamosa as we've had some very strong winds and snow push through. Later on, around 2, 3 o'clock. A few showers and storms will be possible across southern Colorado. These are going to stick around into the evening hours. We are feeling a little bit cold out the door on this Monday, but not for long. We'll see a lot of sunshine today and we'll warm up to the low 60s in Colorado Springs. Meteorologist Sydney Jackson with a look at our forecast this morning. Good morning, Sydney. Hey, good morning, Mark and Danielle. It's another day of 90s and storm chances. It is possible we could see maybe a shower or a storm in Woodland Park later today, but for the rest of us things are looking dry and sunny and I want to talk about tomorrow because we have a warm up ahead for Thursday. Now with an 11 breaking weather alert and your certified most accurate forecast meteorologist Sydney Jackson. Well, we are feeling some wind out the door on this Wednesday, and it's only going to get stronger throughout the day today. Walking through our hour by hour wind gust here by seven o'clock, we could already gust over 40 miles an hour in Colorado Springs out across the eastern plains. Those winds will get going too. and get a look here by 9 a.m. That's when these winds will really become powerful. We could gust over 60 for Pueblo Woodland Park out across the eastern plains. We could even have gusts over 70 miles an hour. We're going to see the threat today for damaging winds across southern Colorado and if you don't have to be out and about in this today, I definitely advise staying inside if you can. We're looking at very strong winds, maybe even close to 80 mile an hour gust in Colorado Springs by 11 o'clock and into lunchtime here for the second half of the day. Those winds will stay strong as well. We're going to see the potential for maybe some blowing dirt and dust even out across the eastern plains, but by this evening we'll finally get some relief from this wind. It's looking like things will start to calm down by sunset. Now we're also keeping Keeping an eye on some snow showers in the mountains this morning. These are going to move over here into Woodland Park and maybe even over the I-25 corridor with that wind picking up. We could see some very limited visibility in Woodland Park especially, but nothing major in terms of snowfall causing big issues for the I-25 corridor. Limited visibility will be a concern with those winds picking up, but really not looking at anything major accumulation wise. Our wind is going to be the bigger story for today, so we are going to see the potential for some trees to be knocked over property damage, maybe even down power lines that could start fires. Our fire danger today is going to be incredibly high and we're also going to feel cold throughout the day. Right now at the door, we're not feeling too bad, but we are going to feel colder conditions throughout the course of our Wednesday. So definitely not going to feel great with those winds sticking around in temperatures today in the 30s and 40s. We are going to stay chilly for the end of the week and into this weekend with 30s and 40s ahead. Pueblo Canyon City, we have 40s today with wind chills in the 30s. 30s Woodland Park, a few snow showers. This new video that we're getting into the newsroom shows a pretty large tornado that hit parts of Illinois. The tornado touched down yesterday afternoon. Blizzard conditions are expected in the Northeast this weekend. People are preparing with sandbags to protect their homes, covering up windows and prepared residents say all that's left to do now is wait for this system and timing looks to be later on this evening into Saturday and Sunday. This nor'easter is going to impact a very large portion of the East Coast. You can tell from that live picture we're seeing right now how the roads almost look clear. You can mm -hmm. see that pavement and I think sometimes that can be so deceiving yeah. and thinking of everyone that was injured from that pileup. Uh, 
that expressway, the Kennedy Expressway, that's a very, very busy area in Chicago. Check out that forecast with meteorologist Sydney Jackson. Hey, good morning, Danielle and Mark. Yeah, not a fun start for us out the door. I put on two pairs of leggings this morning <laughs> because that's how cold it is. So and I bet it probably wasn't even enough. No. <laughs> now we have a flash flood watch that begins at 3 p.m. today. That will remain in effect until 11 p.m. Please know that flooding is going to be a big concern over city streets and over burn scars. Tuesday, February 15th. This will be a perfect day to go buy some of that discounted Valentine's Day candy Ooh, and go well. sit outside and eat it because it is going to be very <laughs> nice outside. Let's go right over to meteorologist Sydney Jackson. It's going to be like 70% off for that candy. Yeah, yeah I nice. think that's my plan today. Honestly, yep, yeah, you just inspired idea. me. <laughs> okay, guys, we have six days ahead. Now, this isn't looking like a major system. The ground is simply too warm for anything to stick. We will see storm chances stick around here for Thursday and Friday, so hold off on the car wash over the next couple of days, but dry time will make a return for us just in time for the weekend. Now, today is also our latest first snowfall on record. That was set in 2016. Today, we're going to stay dry, and we're going to stay dry over the next several days, so we will have a new record where we have this low risk shaded in green. That's going to be the area that will see the best chance for some of these storms to be severe later on today and into the evening hours. When it comes to our threats, we could see large hail today, gusty wind, and we also could see some flooding. It is going to feel pretty hot later on today. We'll make it to 94 in Pueblo, 89 for Colorado Springs. At across the eastern plains, we're looking at mid to upper 90s on the way for today. So get ready for the heat. Even by lunchtime, it's already going to feel pretty warm for many of us. Guys, a news here. It's now been upgraded to Hurricane Elsa. We're still watching Elsa right now. It's here on those closures in Pueblo where that structure fire happened. 6th and 8th Street, they're back open, but 7th Street will remain blocked off here from Albany to Santa Fe. Back of the roads with our on-time traffic this morning. I-25, it's still a little rough out there, especially up north. Just know you're likely still going to see some snow along I-25.